In addition to the state creation of your business, I also recommend filing for an FEIN number. FEIN is the Federal Employee Identification Number. The FEIN is a nine-digit number created by the IRS. You can apply for this number on the IRS website. There are a number of reasons to get a federal tax ID number. It keeps your business clean for tax purposes. You will need it when applying for bank accounts and loan applications. If you have employees, you will need it for tracking employment. Next, I highly recommend that you create a separate business bank account. If you are doing your first flipper at a very low cost, then perhaps it is okay to start out without a business bank account. In almost every other situation, a separate business bank account helps you. The benefits are many. First, it offers you a much cleaner transaction history for tax and audit purposes. It allows you and your lenders to more closely understand your business finances. The drawback to creating a separate business account is that you may need to file separate taxes each year. You may wish to ask an accountant if you have concerns about this. In the long run though, do not mix your personal money with your business money. Finally, let's talk about recording your business finances. Keeping financial records should not stop you from getting started in your business. However, it is something that many people either do not have time for or simply do not feel confident doing. If possible, I recommend taking a basic accounting class. In addition, make a plan for how you will keep track of your records. You may start with something as simple as Excel. You write down your costs, categorize them, and keep your receipts. As you become more confident, you will likely need QuickBooks or another financial system. Please contact an accountant or ask other investors like you what they use. One quick tip is that you should keep track of your mileage. You can claim a mileage tax deduction at the federal rate for the miles you drive. This does not include miles driven from your home to an office but it would include any miles going to look at properties, working on your properties, etc. You may choose to record your business miles in a notebook, on Excel, or in any other financial system you may be using.